despite the fact that the Pitt Special was initially conceived in the late 1940s, there are over a dozen of the type currently registered in New Zealand. In 1949 and 50, US pilot Betty Skilton won the Feminine International Aerobatic Championship in the second Pitts Special built. Betty affectionately called her aircraft the Little Stinker, and today is on display in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Throughout the 1950s, Curtis Pitts built several more examples of the aircraft. It was in the early 1960s that the design really took off. A number of interested amateurs convinced Pitts to release a set of construction drawings and the Pitts Special was on the way to becoming a common home-built aircraft and household name. In 1970, a full-blown manufacturing operation known as Pitts Aerobatics was started in Wyoming. And since then, commercially produced Pitts Specials have also been available. This year, former New Zealand Open Aerobatics champion Steve Taylor brought his Edge 540 tour marker for the first time. Manufactured by Zipco Aeronautics in America, the 540 is a purpose-designed and built state-of-the-art aerobatic aircraft. The fuselage is capable of sustained loadings of 15 Gs, while the composite wings have been tested to withstand plus and minus 23G without braking. Powered by an 8.75 litre Lycoming engine, producing 327 horsepower, and with a propeller made of foam, carbon fibre and titanium, most aerobatics are performed at speeds of between 330 and 405 kilometres per hour. The edge has a roll rate of 420 degrees per second, a maximum speed of 425 kilometers per hour, and as displayed by Steve, is only limited in its aerobatic performance by the capability of the pilot. This year, Doug Brooker once again returned to Classic Fighters with his Acro Tech Giles G202 aerobatic aircraft. Purpose built for unlimited aerobatic competitions, this aircraft has a high power to weight ratio, is built of carbon fibre materials and is quite unstable. This inherent instability of the aircraft and the fact that it has a roll rate of 500 degrees per second makes the aircraft a great aerobatic performer as displayed by Doug. Previous New Zealand Unlimited Aerobatic Champion, Doug has amassed almost 3,000 hours of flight time in 28 years of flying, of which at least 1,200 have been aerobatics. Doug's experience shows in this display. 
and the obvious physical effort required to perform very high G manoeuvres during the routine certainly makes one appreciate the routine that much more. <laughs>